Not much left of Medina Lake thanks to drought and other factors. And for some, their future relies on its future. The man-made reservoir is less than 4% full right now. And as the 19's Avery Everett explains, there are questions about how to save that water. This is what 4% full looks like then. This is it right here, boom. It's not hard to see where Medina Lake's water levels should be. You can just look at the tree line and see the full water, water mark compared to where it is now. Right by the dam, things are drying up. As of Tuesday, the man-made reservoir was only 3.6% full. It's getting hard for me to imagine the water right here again, right where we're standing. We should be in water right now. Yeah. <laughs> but even this low, there's still a lake, and businesses like Wally's Water Sports are open to all, even me. Good. I'm ready. I'll hold it a little bit while you, you pull up on in. There's not a soul out here. I mean, it's amazing. Medina Lake is a man-made reservoir used for recreation, but mainly for irrigation. There's back and forth in this community about usage, and conservation is an ongoing conversation. Uh, the best thing people can do out here right now is conserve. With water levels this low, you really start to see what's at the bottom of Medina Lake. But recent rain over the last month has increased the water levels here, and residents say more change could come soon. So unless we get some significant rains, it's going to recede back down. For now, the community is determined to keep the crowds coming. We'd literally be at the bottom of the lake if this thing was full. If it was full, yeah, we'd be in a submarine. As the search for solutions continues, they're using what they have until it rains again. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News.